Yeah, you know, the best thing to do, and it's it's uh, hard because sometimes uh, when you live in these uh, areas, you want to go and check out the damage. You want to see what's going on. But uh, uh, this does not uh, look like an event where one uh, little gust of wind came down. This does indeed look like a tornado may have touched uh, down. You want to give the officials uh, the time they need and the National Weather Service the space they need to uh, conduct their inspection uh, the best that they can and then come back with uh, what we need to confirm whether indeed this was in fact a tornado that did touch down. And there are all kinds of considerations, of course, for them to officially uh, name this. And you want to be very cautious before you, uh, uh, you know, make uh, a determination like that and cause any reason for concern before knowing. Uh, as we continue to look around this auto body shop, which clearly has sustained significant damage, our producers were saying there is a, a Google image of this auto body shop uh, that you can see online, and obviously just the cars there, and now you can see... Um, what they've been through this morning. There's going to be a lot of repair there. The cars behind the shop completely covered with debris. Uh, you know there are some shattered windshields. There's all kinds of lumber and wood uh, in and around that area. And as Mobile Four has been